Okay, guys, hi. I'm here at my storage place, um, swapping out some things. Um, <clears throat> so here's all my storage crap. Ooh, crazy, I know. And it's kind of thrown in there, no rhyme or reason whatsoever. I am going to spend, because it's getting cold and I can't put it off any longer, I'm going to probably spend one whole Saturday morning over here when the sun is out, taking everything out and putting it back in in a better fashion. And there's like five boxes that go to... Uh, goodwill so they need to come out anyway I came over here because I was swapping out some things from some summer things and winter things and re tightening up my uh, bed situation um, so here's my bed I was able to get this um, sheet from the thrift shop it was like four bucks it's a twin sheet but it's really um, high thread count I can't remember what it said on the tag but pretty nice sheet better sheet than I've ever had when I lived in a house <laughs> So, and it was a twin, and um, it was just by itself. It didn't have a flat sheet, which I didn't need anyway. And I like it because it's, had, it's got the elastic all the way around all the edges, not just on the corners. And that's what I wanted, so I could tuck it under real good. And it's still too big, because this, this, my bed is way skinnier than a um, twin and way shorter. So, anyway. But I wanted to show you, um, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I tied it real tight right here, gathered it up real tight, and tied it in a little thing but I wanted to show you I got this camping pad from um, today actually I got it it's a Coleman uh, oops hold on sorry there we go it's a Coleman um, self-inflating mattress because you guys I don't know if some of you paid attention or knew or even if I said that I have been struggling with um, comfort and so I have the um, the puzzle like um, floor mats that in a workout area I have those then I have this thin little pad and then I have this thick yoga mat then I have this teeny weeny thin yoga mat and then I have my um, two inch foam um, which is just not enough my hip is hurting a lot and so I found this for twenty dollars and I got it for fifteen ninety nine at the thrift shop because sporting good stuff was on sale and it's self inflating so you screw this tight and all the air goes in if you want to um, roll it back up you unscrew this and push all the air out um, so that it um, the air comes out whatever you know so anyway so that's my bed um, I came over here also to get my scarves for wrapping my hair because now it's getting colder I won't I'll put my hair in twists and then um, put a satin bonnet on my hair and then I will wrap it in scarves these were my favorite scarves that I wore last winter a lot um, these are new ones that someone gave me last winter and I didn't have time to use them but I'm gonna try but the rest of the other four are my favorite scarves of course the black one standard goes with everything so anyway I got those again I keep my snuggie my fleece Pac-Man snuggie um, this is my 12 volt blanket I still haven't been able to use because I don't have a system set up yet for 12 volt and I don't want to use my regular cigarette outlet. Um, cooler still in the same place. Um, I've got it open because it's cold out now and so I don't need to keep it uh, closed from the summer heat. It's, it's quite cold out now. It's actually, I'm looking at the front of the car there. Can I zoom? No, I don't think it'll let me zoom with the tablet. It says 52 degrees right now so it's, it's cold. So anyway, I'm leaving this open because the other day when I um, opened it to get something out, I noticed that there was moisture in there, and so I don't want moisture gathering in my um, uh, on my food or anything. So even though it's um, all non, you know, refrigerated type stuff like tomatoes, you can leave tomatoes out, you know, to fruit really. So I, I buy the little grape tomatoes in a pack and I, you know, throw those in. You know, these are still good. They've been in here for uh, four days maybe five days I don't know so and then I've got crackers I've got mixed nuts um, I've got my peppers you guys know I love my peppers my sweet peppers so I got my peppers I've got a bag of apples I just finished off the last of the green grapes because um, they were looking a little bit wonky I've got a bowl in here when I make tuna fish I put it in there but um, I've got this big old thing on applesauce which I'm kicking myself for buying instead of buying small ones because once I open this I have a fear that it's gonna mold <laughs> So, and I've got, um, even in here I've got a pack of, um, I've got two left, um, cinnamon raisin bagels and then peanut butter. So sometimes I just smear peanut butter on a bagel and eat that. But yeah, so <clears throat> as you guys know, I, 
I work full time in a real job, a building I have to go to. It's a public school, so I have a mini fridge there. And so any types of food that I like, lunch meat, cheese, stuff like that, I leave it at work and I eat that stuff at work. This is just car stuff, jumper cables, my bag for when I go grocery shopping. Um, this came off my tire when I got it changed and I never put it back. So it is what it is. Um, just random bags back here. Like actually this bag can come out and go to the, um, this is one of those hot cold bags supposedly keeps frozen stuff for up to three hours or whatever but I was using it just to carry food around in so back here I've got uh, a bag full of other plastic bags and then a roll of paper towels and then these are my covers for the um, windows but yeah so anyway now that I realize I have this bag I will put it in storage so um, and here's for the side view this is the door that I use to get in and out of this is the passenger side back door so this is my door that I get in and out of because um, there's other stuff on the other door so um, this is my shower um, caddy thing so I take that with me when I go to people's house to spend the night the gym whatever whatever my towel I've been finding that if I lay my towel across the front seat like this it dries quicker so I've been doing that because sometimes it'll get sun from the front window so I've been doing that um, let me move this over <clears throat> Okay, so this is my um, my one blackout curtain on that side that goes behind the passenger seat. Okay, so this mesh, um, it's a mesh hamper is what it is, but you know I got it for $1.99 at a thrift store. This has all of my winter clothes in it um, because I, the where I keep my clothes, I'll show you in a minute, there's not enough room for thick, bulky stuff. So underneath here is my shoes in this basket. And so I sat this on top. There is an extra bath towel there, um, but the rest is just sweaters, sweatshirts, and all my long sleeve shirts. Um, although this is a short sleeve shirt that I needed to bring out because for summer stuff, it's something I'm not going to wear. A lot of the shirts that I wore in the summer, the more loose fitting, um, sort of casual, slightly nice shirts, I will put a long sleeve tee underneath and still wear. There were about six to eight items that were summer wear that I took out. And about six to eight items of winter stuff that I put in or have recently purchased at a thrift shop. So that's that's where all the bulky stuff goes because I just don't have a place for it. And um, when I tried to put the, the, the plastic drawer thing here, it was a pain in the butt because I couldn't open the drawers and I was constantly fiddling with it. And I said, you know what, this is it's, it's the pits. And so I, I figured this would work. It works perfectly. I have no issues now. I just grab what I need. I fold them up after I do laundry, throw them all back in there. Boom, bam, boozy. Perfect. So I'm going to put the shower caddy back on this side where it stays. And I'm going to show you this side. So my little trash can stays underneath here. Um, it's kind of dark. Let me... Uh, that's not really helping. That little light. Not sort of, kind of. Not really. So anyway, maybe a little bit. It's starting to get dark and I'm parked a little bit shady area. Um, so this backpack, this is my school backpack. Um, I'm taking a class, biblical studies class. So this has my huge binder and my huge thing in it. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's a brick right here. And the reason there's a brick right here in this spot is I kept feeling like the bed was leaning for some weird reason. On occasion, on that side is the wheel, wheel well where the plastic pockets are. And on occasion, my bed would slide up the wheel well just slightly and so I'd be leaning down on this side so a friend has a ton of bricks in her yard and I grabbed one cleaned it off it was a fairly clean one anyway grabbed one and just stuck it under here so I don't lean as much because I kept feeling like why am I leaning in the middle of the night so that's what was happening for some reason I don't know why it was just not going all the way up the wheel well but just slightly on the incline on that side so that helps a little bit um Okay, so this is my clothes. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get in and sit on the bed. So forgive the shakiness for a second. Okay. Ooh, first time sitting on the air mattress since I just got it. That feels good. Anyway, now I'm gonna turn this because it's, you're gonna see it better this way than um, the other way. So I know that was probably gave you a really woozy feeling for a second. Sorry. All right, so this is the thing I got from Walmart. And remember, it had five of these sections. 
Well, five was way too long for my car. In a standard house closet, perfect. Five too long for mine. So this is just two sections. I cut, excuse me, I cut three off the bottom. And so now I have two sections. This is my closet. All my clothes are in here except for the ones I just showed you that were too bulky. So the top section is all shirts, thin little sweaters, and in these pockets are underwear, no, bras are here, and tank tops are on this side. And it goes, the pockets go all the way around. Let me turn this thing around for you. Oh, darn, I just dropped something. Okay, so the pockets go all the way around this bad boy, okay? So this is all tops. T-shirt tops, work tops, whatever kind of tops, they're all in here. And then bras and tank tops. I wear a tank top underneath everything. Year round. Okay, this is bottoms, pants, sweatpants, pajama pants, slacks for work. Um, all of it is in here. Okay? And then on this side, going around that way, is socks. And on this side, going around this way, as you can see, sticking out, is underwear. And I try and put two... Uh, per thing um, just because I have you know quite a few underwear so, and I just bought a new pack the other day so I probably should get rid of the ones <laughs> that I called myself replacing anyway so that's there so this is the proximity of from my bed to the cooler and then I keep a water jug of water here so if I get thirsty this nifty little thing um, this is just a little Dollar Tree um, teeny weeny mini crate and in there stays my pea jug and it's all natural popcorn yeah so that's my pea jug first thing in the morning have to pee if I'm parked somewhere I gotta pee in the pea jug that's the only time I use it once a day not preferable but once I get a minivan or something I'll think about getting the little um, potty thing but no room for it in here absolutely no room I mean if I find I might could fit one right in here but mm, it probably be it would have to be really short and small and whatever so I use it once a day anyway and then under there is um, laundry detergent and um, that's where the paper towels were on the other side that I showed you and so this little um, rack that I've um, zip tied here this is my wet wipes um, I do shower every single day there's probably been only two days since August 27th that I started this journey that I haven't showered so I've been good I shower every single day I do, however, in the morning when I use the pee jug, I do use a wipe to wipe myself just to feel clean on my way to work to take a shower. This little um, lantern I found um, at Big Lots, and you push it down. Uh, let me see. Push it down, and the light goes off. It's LED with seven bucks, and you pull them up, pull up the, the top, and the lights come on. And so it's been really good because I don't need a whole lot of light in this vehicle. So, yeah. Once I'm in here and I'm in here and it's dark and it's like whatever. Okay. So I'm going to put the backpack for school back in. Um, this I wanted to show you is my, my go bag. If you guys are Criminal Minds fans, you know that they have go bags. <laughs> it's the bag they grab that has everything in it that they'll need with clothes and everything. So anyway, this is my go bag. And the reason I had to make a go bag is I was staying very sporadically with friends here and there. And so I'd always have to pack something the day that I got an invite. So now I just keep a go bag. So it's got two whole outfits in it. It's got um, water bottles. It's got my medicine. It's got, you know, a couple pair of earrings. It's got a few little items for me to do my hair, socks, underwear, t-shirts, tank tops, all that. And I use, um, I'm sleeping in some mid midweight sweatpants and a t-shirt so that there's a pair in there that stays in there so that's my go bag if I get invited to come over for the night because a lot of times people will last minute text or call and be like it's gonna be really cold tonight come over here and spend the night okay great so I drive over there and I can just grab my go bag and go so now um this is the winter weight this is the other side of the towel that was hanging on that side my bath towel and the reason I use this beach towel is my bath towel is because I love it and it's super super warm and fluffy this is the winter weight feather. You see all the feathers flying? Feather comforter that my coworker gave me. She is such, such a joy, such a blessing to my heart. So anyway, I took that off the bed so you guys could see the bed, but now I'm gonna put it back. Oh man, it's getting cold. <clears throat> 
I actually have an invite to spend the night with a friend and we're bartering a night of a sleepover for a haircut. If you don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist, have done hair for 20 some odd years, and uh, so she needs a haircut, I need a place to stay tonight, and there it is. So anyway, the winter weight comforter, the door just closed by itself. Anyway, so I usually fold it nicer than this and put it on the bed. But anyway, I had to get this out because I had the summer weight one. She gave me two. She gave me a winter weight thick comforter for winter. It's heavier, denser. And she gave me a um, summer weight one that was a little lighter. So what I did is I put the summer weight one under here on top of the camping pad to give me more cushion and to have those feathers still working for me. And I pulled out the winter weight one and now... This, the big thing is, the summer weight one <clears throat> was a full size, so it wasn't huge. The winter weight one is a queen size, so it's huge. Look at this thing. Even fold, even if when I fold it, it's just huge. So, I'm thinking I'm going to roll it up and get some sort of a, um, a small duffel bag that I can shove it in so it's not sitting all over like this. I like my place to look neat as possible. Just because I'm living in a car doesn't mean I have to live like a slob. That's my thinking. So, <clears throat> that's the setup <clears throat> for right now. Um, so, when you know anybody comes through, all they see is the empty here. I have my curtains closed and all they see is this is empty. Um, that's a random bag of hair stuff I've got to go through and decide if I want to keep it in the car or put it in storage. Um, I have, this used to be my go bag. Um, but it, it got too small because it can only carry a few things and so now I'm using it as basically my purse I know it's really random and weird but anyway it's basically my purse um, I usually just grab this to take into stores this has all my stuff I need to buy stuff um, you know money and whatnot this and my cell phone are the two things I grab um, the only time I really need a purse purse is you know when I'm really going into someone's house or something because in my tablet and all that stays in there, but <clears throat> when I do it like this, and the towel's over it at night, no one can tell what's in there. You know, that you can't tell that it's a purse or anything, you just see the towel draped over. So it just pretty much looks like this when someone's walking by my car at night when I'm stealth. All they see is that. And the good thing about having all this black interior is, it doesn't show the dirt as much. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> anyway. So... Anyway, um, oh, let me show you the other side. So, the door that I don't use, the um, passenger door, um, the back side behind the driver, this is the side I don't um, use. So anyway, this is my jacket. <clears throat> I um, don't have a big, thick winter jacket. I mean, I do, but I'm not bringing it out just yet. I'm not ready for that. And i got to figure out where I'm going to store it, too. So, anyway, so this is my dirty clothes bag. I just shove, when I get dirty clothes, I just shove them down there. And I've been able to, the last two or three weeks not go to laundromats. Friends have had me come over and do laundry at their house, so that's when God's in. Um, this is my feminine hygiene stuff. This is extra feminine hygiene stuff. <clears throat> when I find a pack of stuff on sale and I buy it, I put it in there. Um, that's empty. I need to figure out what I'm putting in there. This is office stuff. I don't use it. I think I've used two things in there since I've been um, doing this. Maybe three things, a pen and a piece of paper or something, and a piece of tape. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep it or if I want to put it in storage. So I'm going to ride it around for another week or two, and if I really, 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 really don't use it, then I'm going to let it go. So underneath there, this is my tool bag, the green tool bag. It's got bungees on top because I always grab bungees. These are my zip ties. My favorite friends are zip ties and bungees. Uh, I randomly have books and comics in here because I need to mail them to my son. The library had a book sale, so I got several things for him, and I just haven't mailed them yet. Um, and then this is my file box with important files. It mostly has my um, medical records in it. So if I go to the doctor and I need to remember something medically, then I can just bring that box in with me. But I pretty much know what medicine I take and all that jazz. But just in case. My other files are in the um, storage room. And so the cool thing I like about my um, SUVs, I do have pockets. These are all cards. They're all blank inside. So when I think of people and I can write a card, I can fill it out and sit it in the mail. This is my box cutter thing. This random notebook and some books I'm supposed to be reading, but like leisure books. I don't even know what that is in that bag of something. 
<coughs> very random. So I've been thinking about removing these and painting my windows. I've seen a few van dwellers who have painted windows. They use either the black matte finished paint or the um, bed liner paint because these stay up all the time. So I never look out these windows anyway. And I also hate the fact, I hate how they look. You can see that. Now I could put paint that side of the reflux black which maybe that makes more sense so maybe I'll paint that side of the reflux black so when you it's in the window it looks black maybe that's a better idea because then that'll still give me insulation I just answered my own question see what happens when you talk to yourself anyway all right so I'm gonna go like I said I gotta go cut a friend's hair um, and uh, thank you guys for always um, commenting and subscribing and liking and following me on Facebook. And I've gotten so many people blessing me through prayer and um, just well wishes. I appreciate it. Um, so keep in touch with me and um, keep praying for my son. Um, again, I'm not going to go into details of what's going on with him. Just know that it's pretty serious and he needs prayer and he needs to try and remain in contact with me because now he's shutting me out and won't talk to me. And he blocked me on Facebook, so I have no idea what's going on with him. Anyway, um, I thank you guys, as always. Like, subscribe, share it, comment, and I'll see you next time.